happening once again. Seasonal jobs are a great way to make some extra cash during the holiday season, and it is still not too late to apply for this year. As part of our Hiring 716 initiative, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps takes a closer look tonight at some of the options that are still out there. As you walk through the fashion outlets in Niagara Falls, there are deals as far as the eye can see. It's a sign Black Friday is coming. We're going to see about 100,000 shoppers from Thursday to Sunday. What's it like? It's insane here. Mark Morgan came to do his shopping before it gets too busy. His friend Anthony is shopping for a job. Why not try to find a job myself? With the holidays coming up, why not? be able to get everybody else Christmas presents when they're getting me Christmas presents. He's picked up an application and is ready to start working. Anywhere, tell you the truth, absolutely anywhere. That's been like, yeah, go ahead, come work for us. And I'll be like, all right, cool, I'll, can, I can start tomorrow. John Doran manages the outlets. He says with the holidays around the corner, they're looking for people like Anthony. Our retailers need good people. They need people that, that can work some odd hours. We need people who are motivated to work, who want to work and have the ability to satisfy a customer. If there's anything you need, let us know. You can apply online or come to the mall, knock on the doors, uh, you know, prepare yourself, look your best, and say, hey, I'd like to work for you. Right now, we've got about 20 to 30 retailers actively looking to fill positions. Like trying out a job here at Columbia behind the register, <laughs> or serving up snacks here at Doughboys. But let's say working at the mall is not really your thing. There are plenty of other options for you. FedEx and UPS are looking for drivers. And if you like people, maybe working for the Census Bureau is the fit for you. For a full list of job options and links to apply, click on this story at WKBW.com. In Niagara Falls, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.